I don't cook hardly any at all now. I, my memory's not too good. I was afraid that I just couldn't live here by myself. They are very vibrant people. They go a lot. They do a lot of things. Whenever all these issues with her vision started happening, it was, uh, you know, a circumstance that nobody wants to be faced with. This past year, I started noticing difference in my sight. I could not see out of my left eye. I couldn't read. We'd be driving down the road and I told Pete, I said, those telephone poles look, look wiggly. We moved here uh, because I wanted to have a place where we could, either one of us, if one died before the other one, and have a place to stay. And I was beginning to not be able to see and I thought, oh, well, this would be horrible if I couldn't see. I don't believe I could live here alone. And so I told my daughter and my husband, I think I'd like to go look at some uh, assisted living centers. Well, I, I, I'm in an age too where I, I'm there too, you might say, but not yet. And I didn't want to rush the process. I thought we should get it like a second opinion. Lindy has a lot of vision problems that came from something unusual, which is her pancreatic cancer. Very few people survive that. The outcome was that she ended up with diabetes. And her diabetes was so aggressive that the blood vessel growth in the right eye took the retina off. She had multiple surgeries to reattach that. She's ended up with poor vision in the right eye, but the eye survived all the problems physically. She still has an eye, which is good. The left eye started having problems with macular degeneration. Macular degeneration is a large percentage of our patient population. I'm gonna say at least 60 to 70% of our patients have macular degeneration. She also represents those that have diabetic retinopathy, and that's another number one cause of blindness in the United States. And there was a time if I could hardly see which end of this I'm supposed to put in mm -hmm. there, you know. Okay, so you have everything in one place so you know where everything right. is. She learned a lot about adaptive techniques with diabetes. You know, how she could read her meter, how she could see the blood on her finger more easily, how to cook healthier meals. Pre-hit the oven to 350, all I have to do is... We came to the home and did education on lighting, education on equipment. And if I want to cook biscuits, which I do in the mornings, techniques, her phone, computer, her biggest need was lighting. Even helped me with my computer and brought in lighting for me to choose from. As it was, it's the lighting that I needed most of all. I got the right kind of lights now that so I can see to read, I can see to uh, read my stove, the, the knobs and the dials on my stove. I know what they are from the bump dots. Then Anita uh, had a session where she showed me things that I could use on my phone. Hey Siri, what's the temperature? I think so. It's about 102 degrees outside. <laughs> we also came up with a solution that she needs to eat every five hours. We talked about setting alarms on her phone. Siri, I need to set my timer. For because sometimes she'll get busy and forget, or like Pete was saying, he's not hungry when she needs to eat, and so she needs to be responsible for herself. I do use my phone a lot. I use it to read my Bible. I use the magnifier. There is a, a program on there calling CNAI. I can take a prescription bottle that I can't read and that will read it for me. Processing. Walgreens glucose tablets. They're out there. Services are there. You guys have the tools that teach everybody in the family. It's not just the patient that is, you know, currently needing the vision help. It's everybody. It's very rewarding to see someone go from frustration and maybe wanting to go into an assisted living to I can keep them home. I could stay in my own home as long as I wanted to and I feel like I could probably stay here for a long time now. It has been great for her. When she calls me and she tells me or she texts me and says oh I'm just reading my book. You know what, that's something. We offer so many different skills, so, many, so much training to allow them to continue to be independent. I've gotten my life back. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not easy, but I'm doing it. I feel 
I feel like I'm not so lost anymore. I was afraid I was going to have to leave my house.